All right, so it took me about three minutes to prepare to make the frosting part of this. So my sugar cookie base, my pizza part, that is in the oven. I set the timer for 10 minutes, so I will check them after that. And with our pizzas, we're not looking for them to really change that drastically in color. It's mostly the texture. Um, they're going to look like a golden brown crust but you don't want it to be too dark. So I will show you what that looks like when they're all done. So I, in that three minutes, I gave my paddles just a brief little rinse so that they are all clean. There's no dough remnants on them. And we will go ahead and put those in the, in our electric mixer. If you're wondering how to take them out, this button on the back, you just push it straight in and it releases them. To put them in, you match these bottom prongs inside of the electric mixer and they should click in. So the very first direction on our filling or our frosting is to whip the whipping cream. So in a small mixing bowl, we are going to pour all of our whipping cream and we are going to, to keep mixing it until it becomes thick and stable. I'll show you what that looks like. So again, put your mixer straight in the bottom and put it on high. Here's what it looks like. So this is described as thick and stable because when I move around the bowl, it doesn't move with it. So we'll go ahead and set this aside and prepare to make the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to use a flexible
flexible spatula to clean out my beaters just so I don't have to wash them again. And since all of these are going in the same bowl, it's okay if there's a little bit left over. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at our next direction. It says, in a medium mixing bowl, let's beat the, green, the cream cheese until it is thick and smooth. So we'll go ahead and work on our cream cheese now. I went ahead and microwaved this to soften it. And again, it's not melted, but when I poke it, my fingerprint stays. So you can see that's how soft it is. this is nice and smooth so we'll go ahead and add in both of our sugars and our vanilla oh and it looks like my oven is going off too so let me take a pause and go see what it's looking like All right, it's still looking pretty undercooked, so I'm going to go ahead and give it two more minutes in the oven, and then I'll check it. So we've combined all of our ingredients, so we'll go ahead and mix this. I should mention that this is on low. Just mix that on low and now I'm ready to add in the whipped cream so at this point we are going to not use our electric mixer anymore we're going to just push straight in on this button release those beaters and with my flexible spatula I'll take off all of that excess frosting before putting it in the sink Okay, just like that. And then we'll use our flexible spatula to get all of this whipped cream to put into our bowl. And let me go remove our cookies from the oven so that they can start cooling. All right, and then we're just going to fold in that whipped cream. So to fold, 
we take a little bit of our whipped cream and just turn it over into the rest of that frosting mixture. The key with folding in is that we are combining two foods with different densities. So we don't want all of that whipped cream to just turn into mush. <laughs> we want it to hold its texture and we want a nice frosting. So just go ahead and turn it over like that. So this is what it means to fold in. And you'll just keep doing this until all of the ingredients are incorporated. So I can still see some streaks of just the cream cheese. So we need to keep folding. All right, so here's what my frosting looks like. So on Thursday at the end of class, what I want you to do is to bring this up to me. I want your bowl of frosting without the flexible spatula. I just want the frosting. And I want your cookie sheet. Your cookie sheet will probably still be pretty hot so you can put some hot pads down on the supply table and then keep your cookie sheet there. And then I'm going to have sticky notes for you to write your kitchen number and your class period so that I know which one belongs to you. So let me show you what my fruit pizzas are starting to look like. So they are, they are just like sugar cookies. You can tell that they have a really delicate texture right now because they are fresh out of the oven. But when they cool, they will hold their shape better. So I'm going to let these cool and then I'm going to assemble them later. So as far as Thursday goes, you're just bringing up your frosting and your cookie sheets to me at the supply table. And then you'll label them and we will pick up where we left off on Friday with assembling them.